you guys, it's your girl Abby Ollie, and welcome back to another video. Um, first of all, I want to thank y'all for all the love that you showed on my last video. The last time I looked, it was like at 260 something. Y'all went ham on that, and I appreciate you. I am with another special guest on this Black Excellent Challenge. It's my friend, my boo, Dre. Okay, y'all. Um, in terms of manifestation, spirituality, speaking from a verb, uh, Scorpio that doesn't like to be vulnerable. Um, yeah, Dre <laughs> is right there with me. And uh, he's like my older brother, y'all. And I appreciate him and he helps so much. So not only is his spirit amazing, but he's also a yoga teacher and he's into astrology and <laughs> and energy and manifestation and as black folks i feel like we need how you say it like a little release um and just like some good practices so we're going to jump right in we're going to talk about his business as also tips for the black community on moving forward so if you want to see more definitely like comment share and subscribe and thank you all so much let's get into the video all right y'all thank you for that intro oh, that was yes. Blessing. Great baby. <laughs> I just found out what it means. Um, <laughs> yo, um, so Dre, we're going to get right into this. I have some questions. Okay, I have we some have answers. Keys, okay, cheers. So, um, how would you introduce yourself? Yes, I'm real short and sweet. <laughs> okay. Um, my name is Dre. Um, my business is called Dre Speaks. I am coming upon my Saturn return, so I will be 30 come the 16th of April. I'm very excited. I feel all the energy, all the waves and things. Um, and yeah, I'm black. Uh, not really into labels, so, but you know, really love this black body that I was chose to be in. And um, yeah, I'm here to really give the lights. Show the way. Show the way. Um, which, my way is only one way. We live in a world that is 360, full circle, infinite. So there's a lot of ways. I'm just uh, paving or shedding light on the path to those who can't see. Yes. Yes. I wanted to make that more profound, but I'm. Um, <laughs> That's it. He helps shed light and also, like, help also discover things within yourself too that you necessarily didn't ask for, but it's very much needed. Um, <laughs> personal experience. Um, but also, as like, well, Dre and I speak about a lot, and also just in our friend group in general, we speak about the traumas that Black people go through, and it could be generational, it could be inherited, and. Um, Whatever your spirituality is, it's not a spirituality segment, but it's just more of just finding better practices to have inner peace um, or work towards inner peace and get to every day, like through your day to day, um, specifically in the times that we are in, uh, is ways to, for lack of a better way, cope or um, move through certain pain. What is Dre Speaks specifically? Yes, yeah, so Dre Speaks is just simply a platform that I created. I um am a freelance dancer as well that's what i have um, my bachelor's in so using the creative arts and bringing some of my um spiritual introspection into that work is where dre speaks was really founded using creative arts with healing and spiritual arts in a way that is amplifying not only the spiritual world but amplifying um the black community, the BIPOC community, the LGBT community, and the non-binary community. I always like to say Dre Speaks is for people who are curious about where they're going. I don't really care necessarily who you are. That's not me to judge. I am just a vessel handing out and giving out information in a way that is still for the culture. Again, using my vessel to impact um, those who look like me as I go into both spaces, whether that is the um, appropriation of dance or the appropriation of the spiritual and yoga 
uh, spaces and environment. It's like, no, I like that I'm black. I like that I have cornrows. I like that I dress the way I dress because that's a part of being yourself. That's a part of shaking the space. That's a part of diversity and inclusion is including who you are and how people are blessed and inspired by your presence. Welcome to the throat chakra. Open that throat. Use that voice. Share your truth. Speak powerful words. Words are vibrational. Life and death power of the tongue. Your, your amplified boundaries live here. Right? This is how one tool we use to say no. Yes, say no. And for those of us saying no, say yes a little more. It's a balance. You know who you are. Okay, and then also communication, be quiet. <laughs> that goes for me too. Active listening. I don't know what active listening is and you haven't looked it up or taken a course on it. Most likely you're probably not doing it. And that's all here. In the throat. Okay, I wrote down a little more notes. As we all learn and grow, you come to the point where you hold back and you hold down. And that can be truth, that can be knowledge, that can be love. Let it go, let it flow, throw up, purge. How many things are you gonna hold down? Don't hold it down for me, baby. I'm not one of those friends. Okay, I can take it, give it to me. But again, communication, sharing your truth. <laughs> That's on period. <laughs> um, I wanna drop, like by the clip I just dropped in, um, it was part of his chakra series and um, it was just like 30 second, one minute clips, I wanna say. Um, yes. Just giving, um, just examples of chakras and energy and so forth. So with that being said, um, what are three products for, or like objects that you need to have on your day to day to keep, that helps you push towards your spirituality and your um, peace and sanity? Your body, your breath, and your intention. And I know that you asked me what products, but I find in this capitalism, this American, um, this culture that everything is outside of you to acquire some higher position or understanding. And it's like, you literally have all the things that you need to connect. That's why it was God given. That's why it's universal. That's why it's free. So getting in touch with who you are, you bring your body into the space. You do not only wash it and throw clothes on it. A million cells are dying and recreating. Your heart is beating. Your lungs are pushing. And that is on purpose. And it's to acknowledge that, right? So then when we talk about the breath, um, we like to use that as um, our prana. Cool. So I wanted to do a quick meditation. Really quick, simple. Um, I have a crystal here. This is some smoky quartz, uh, any black or dark stone is really for grounding. Um, this is particularly for just negative vibes. I use it just to center myself. So if you definitely have a crystal or if you're new to crystals, this will be just a good time to just have it around, set your space, get in the moment. But if you don't have a crystal, always know you are like crystal enough. So um, you can either lay down uh, on your back, heart towards the ceiling, heels and toes out, palms up to the center for reception. Or you can just sit in a cross-legged position um, or in a chair with your soles planted into the ground. Shoulders back, nice long, erect spine. Cool, and we're just going to take three simple breaths. That is it. We'll be breathing into the belly. And that's all I want you to think about. You can close your eyes or keep them open whatever makes you feel uh, brave and comfortable at that time. Cool. And no need to watch me at this point. You can put the phone down and just really allow yourself to take in the present moment. So we'll start now. So just become aware of the space that you're in. And then notice your inhales and your exhales. A 
allow the thoughts to just pass through. No need to take them with you or to define them. You're just being at the moment. Exhale out all your breath, push it out, out, out. Any still air, any energy that you don't need. Take a big inhale into the belly. So just hold at the top for three, for two, for one open mouth exhale, let it go. Push the energy out, the air leaves the body. For instance, our prana breath is more about, again, the life force, right? Breath is there when we're scared, when we're nervous, when we're crying, right? The contractions of your gut respond um, to what is going on, whether that is emotional, right? Emotions is energy emotions. So your body is already responding to these things, again, through breath, through your actual metaphysical, physical, spiritual body, and then your intention. What does your soul propose? That's where your intention, where your gas is thrusting about what you are here to do. And intention is very small. I'm here to be still. I'm here to heal. I'm here to love. I'm here for presence. I'm here for gratitude, right? So even when we say I am, we make sure that that is followed by something strong, something magnetic, something vibrational, because that's where words are. So if I could even add a fourth one, it would be really to watch your words, because that is coming out your body mm. through breath, through intention. Yes. Um, you mentioned yoga. Yes. Now a lot of people are like, mm. But I feel like specifically people don't understand yoga. So in a very quick way, for someone who is not used to the black community, because to be honest, not really being in the black community, mm -hmm. what, what would you describe yoga as and how it could help further, like help benefit your life? Yoga is pretty much like that. Um, I am very aware that yoga has been presented in a very white and physical way. So I like to approach yoga as just simply connecting your, again, the bridge to your outer and your inner body. How you feel going through certain moments or poses that require physicality is the same emotions, right? We said that that is energy and motion. Runs in your body when you have to hold yourself up, right? In a push-up or a plank, or if you have to take something like a chair pose or any balance or standing. We also fall a lot in yoga because of it. it's a it's a grounding, it's a balance, it's it's a lot of things causing your body to concentrate and you will fail. You will fall. That's why we call it a yoga practice. So you can apply yoga to your physical body, which is always good to have that emotion really working in a good way. And it is physical. Yes. It okay. is a workout. And not all of them. I teach power yoga for that. Um, but there's also yin yoga where it's way more approachable. Restorative yoga. So again, yoga is also like a buffet. So what if you're not a physical person and you already are busting you know, your basketball, whatever the case may be, yeah, maybe you do need restorative. Maybe you do need a trauma-based yoga. Maybe you need more assistance with blocks or essential oils where there's aromatherapy. The most important thing about any self-care, which yoga is a part of, is that you enjoy it. Also, yeah, uh, yoga has a whole side of it where you do not have to use your body at all, okay? Just research the eight branches or limbs of yoga. The breath and the body is only two of eight. So again, you're seeing an appropriated portion based on an Americanized way of profit and accreditation. So it may just be reflection for you. It may just be breath for you. It may just be um, stillness. So I like to, hence why I did the chakras in a more fashionable, cultural, non-binary way because I want you to see that yoga is really unity and it's all around you and it's happening. It's, it's, it's more about principles, right? Principles and a foundation so that you can stand on it but also reap and harvest it as well. And you should do the same for your body. Just like that again, even bigger. Inhale, fill the belly, the lungs, and then hold it at the pit of your throat for three, for two, for one, exhale, let it go, sigh it out, yell it out, whatever you need. Let that energy 
go and flow. Seal the lips together this time. We're gonna make it more intimate, more internal. Inhale through the nostrils. Focus will be in between the brows and we hold for three. We hold for two. We hold for one out through the nose. Let it settle. You are present. You are light. And you have everything you need to succeed. Ashe, you have completed your meditation. You can stay longer. It's up to you, it is your choice. Thank you for meditating with me. Bless you. Starting from the outside in, black joy and black love within our community. That's what we can control. And in a synopsis, y'all, you guys got Dre Speaks, okay? for the price of free YouTube, one and only time. One and only time, because Lord knows, okay, we gotta start supporting each other. Hey, four services, share. Like, this is, and I appreciate you for being on my channel. I appreciate you. you for walking us through a practice and meditation. Y'all, I'm going, like as you've seen, I've dropped clips from Dre Speaks as well on from what he's done. I want y'all to support. And I hope you get a little idea of like what he does and what he's trying to, what he is doing, not trying, what he is doing for our community and pushing um, our mental health and our men mental strength and unity. So I want to thank y'all so, so much for watching. I hope you got a lot from this video. Um, there'll be more to come. It is Black Excellence Month and I'm still going to be coming with more content, okay? This is just still, we're still in Feb. But I want to thank you so, so much. If you haven't already, you better hit that like button hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and comment down below what you more you wanna see. I'm gonna link Dre and all his info down below as well. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I've been posting, like I said, every day on some type of platform, so y'all need to follow me to get more content, okay? And that's all I'm married out a little in. Anyway, y'all, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. Bye.